Hello. I hope you continue to be well and safe and that the new restrictions that have been put in are not making your life unduly hard. It is a challenging time, and it's a time when we're really called on to turn inward to find the Lord's presence because he is the source of hope and joy and peace. I want to read you two things today. One is taken from the 37th Psalm. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. That's such an important idea because, of course, we want a lot of good things that we're not able to have right now. And it's so nice to think if we can turn to the Lord, he's going to be able to give us those good things. We're going to be able to reconnect with our families again that we might be separated from. We're going to be able to go back to our jobs and pay our bills. We're going to be able to enjoy ordinary physical contact with people that we come into contact with without having to keep that six foot buffer around ourselves that feels so frustrating and unnatural. So when the psalm says, trust in the Lord and do good, and he will give you the desires of your heart, that's comforting. And there's a way in which we can all look at that and say, right, okay, so I'm going to be good. I'm going to turn to the Lord, and he's going to give me back my paycheck and my connection with my family and all of those things. He will make the desires of my heart come true. But I think actually the Lord is saying something very different. When we think of getting what I want, we often think of it in those external terms. But what the Lord says, we're told in New Church teaching, is that if we trust in him, if we do his will, if we turn to him in his word, then he will give us the desires of our heart because our heart will be changed to reflect the desires that he wants us to have. So think about this time when we are separated, when we're anxious, when we can easily feel isolated and afraid, and think, well, what does the Lord want? Well, does he want us to have financial security? Of course. Does he want us to be able to do our daily life? Yes. But I think that there's some things that the Lord wants a lot more. He wants us to be looking at everyone that we come into contact with, with compassion. And maybe because this is a hard time, we can be aware more than we usually are of the needs of our fellow human being that we come into contact with. He wants us to put the well-being of those around us at least on the same level as ourselves and sometimes even higher. And the needs of this pandemic are doing that. I may feel perfectly safe for myself being out in public, but for your sake, I have to be careful. So there's a way in which if we can turn to the Lord right now, he can lift us up and make us realize that the true desires of our heart are deeper than we ordinarily think about. We can experience right now a kind of spiritual reality that's harder to do in everyday life because now we know the only job that I have is to act with love and integrity according to the Lord's word. And this brings up a second teaching, this one from New Church Teachings from the work, the Arcana Celestia. It should be recognized that divine providence is over all. That is, it is present within the smallest details of all, and that people in the stream of providence are being carried along constantly towards happier things, whatever appearance the means may present. 
again, is this particular crisis going to mean that we are absolutely going to have a happier future tomorrow financially? Are we going to be happier if someone that we really care about is injured or dies? Well, of course not. But the Lord is saying that if we can come through this time resting in him more than we did, if we can come through this time saying, my job is not to make a living. My job is to love and to serve. Then the Lord will have led us to something much happier, much more peacemaking in our lives. And we can actually look back on this time and see it as a blessing. So I ask you, how can you rest in the Lord? Rest in the Lord so much that his priorities of love and integrity and devotion to his word become a little bit more important to you than they were yesterday. And how can you manifest that in your life right now? I wish you the Lord's joy and peace in the coming days.